Hello there, this is Tom Meeks of the Cubify Fans blog and also the Moment of Inspiration users blog. We're going to continue our coverage of Construct Loft. And that's because it's such a fun command to use. Let's go to a front view first. And we'll just make a series of shapes. Okay, I'm going to first select a circle. And I'll put that circle right here. Nice small circle. Well, then I'm going to select a rectangle. And we're going to say center. I just want that centered up here. Okay, we've got a nice rectangle. And then we're going to go to a polygon. Let's make a uh, pentagon first. We'll do that. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll choose our center. But this time, let's choose uh, 6. Okay. And we'll get that in here. And then finally, we'll choose star. And we'll make our star. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll make our star out there. Okay. Uh, why don't we make a... Let me undo that. And... Uh, We'll undo our star. We'll put in our star again, and then we'll make a six-sided star, okay? A six-sided star, okay. Okay, and we'll do, do that. Now, we're going to name each of these. So I'm going to say this is item one. Item two, you'll see why in a second. Item two. Item three. Item four. And finally, item five. Now, the only reason we need to do this is because we need to move these once we go to the right view. All right. Now I'm going to select none, and now I'm going to take item five. Let's move over here. We're going to move item five. So we're going to say transform. I selected item five by clicking here, and now we'll go ahead and we'll move item five. Now we're going to unselect that and select item four. We're going to move that, and we're going to move that, let's say, right, right there. Okay, then we're going to unselect item four. We're going to select item three. We'll move that to right here. And then, of course, we're going to select item two. And we'll move that right in the middle. So if I look at it from a 3D perspective now, it looks like quite a mess. But you'll see each of the shapes are uh, uh, spread out from the other. Now I'm going to select each of these shapes and say construct loft. I mean, they are really quite different shapes. But look, it took each of those shapes and moved from one shape to the other in really quite a remarkable way. Uh, let's move this around. Notice how it went from shape to shape, creating a, an entirely new object. And of course, if I said don't cap the ends, it would make it hollow so you could see in there. You could see inside and outside that we have this hollow shape. Uh, I'm going to say cap ends just because uh, I like it that way. If we're going to do 3D printing, we, we need to use inset uh, to, uh, to make sure that, or offset to make sure that we have a hollow surface and that the surface around that hollow is uh, thick enough to print. So at any rate, we have all of this. We can now say get rid of these shapes, and we have a beautiful shape. Now, what's really cool is that we have these loft styles. I'm going to say loose, and you'll see that it changes quite a bit. Let's turn these back on so you can see how loosely it fit as it went through those shapes. And then straight, and it's going to change still again. As, as it follows through each of our shapes. You can see that it went from straight from one shape to another. I like loose or normal. And then we can go through exact, refill, refit, or points. 
and look at what an organic shape we get when we go to points. Notice now that we have a very organic kind of shape that only loosely uh, corresponds to what we had in that it's going through uh, each of those areas. You can kind of see the influence. It's more like an influence than anything else. And if I go here to loose, it's even more organic in its shape. But we can get some really cool things by uh, lofting different shapes. And it doesn't matter what shapes we go to. Uh, I, I'm going to say cancel. And now I'm going to uh, go to the right view. And I'm going to uh, move this over. And I'm going to make sure that this is up. And I'm also going to rotate that shape. OK. All right, so we're going to go like this, and we'll uh, get all of our shapes in here. We'll go, uh, let's move this up, move this down, and now we're going to see what we get by take, making some of these moves. And we go to Construct Loft. Now, I'm going to go to Normal and uh, Auto. And you can see that it has made quite an interesting shape. And it follows along, even though we're at an angle to each other uh, and offset from each other. So loft, loft really does some remarkable kinds of things. But then if we go here to loose and points, boy, we really get some nice stuff. So if you wanted to make a, an automobile or a, a boat, a fast boat, or, or some really organic kind of shape. Uh, loft is one of the ways that you can do it. I hope that was interesting to you.